Now, it's not always possible that you destroy the goods that you're trying to sample or do a quality check. Coffee is an example of destructive quality check. When you check for the quality of coffee, that's it, that coffee is gone, right? You can't use it anymore. You can't sell it back to the customer. But some type of goods are not destroyed when you do a quality check. Example, an LED TV goes through a QA check then comes back to stock. It's not destroyed, right? How do you do this? There are a couple of ways to do it. You remember, in a storage location, in a plant storage location, of course, there are three different kinds of stock types. Unrestricted, quality, blocked. So from unrestricted, you could move that to quality, in which case nobody else can sell it because it's a quality stock. So you move one TV. And how do you move that? Using transfer posting. You move one TV from unrestricted to quality. Do your quality check and move it back using a reversal. Doesn't matter what that movement type is. We've already seen all the movement types associated with moving stock from unrestricted to quality, from quality to blocked and vice versa. That's one option. That way, nobody can sell that TV. It's in quality. And once the quality check is done, they put a sticker on it and then put it back to unrestricted stock. And all of this is done using transfer posting because it's not really a big physical movement. There's no change in value, nothing of that sort. It's just moving to a different state. Or you can create a separate storage location, call it QA storage location, and from here you could put it here. Right? That's another way to do non-destructive sampling. Which way to do depends on the business scenario.